what's going on guys back at it again with another fallout new vegas video so in this one we're basically going to be continuing on where we left off uh something that i do have to say though is that in between this video and the last video i did grind a little bit and went on a massive killing spree for literally a few hours and leveled up a few times so now i do have my science or medicine or i believe it was uh up to level 60 so we can go ahead and do that whole thing with uh the stash of pacers so we're gonna go over there and do that right now if you're excited for this video though do me a huge huge favor drop a like on this video also subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow so with that being said let's get on with this gameplay all right first things first we definitely got to get out of here, of course, and we have to make our way back to, um, what's, what's his name, uh, the king's place, because we have to pay a little visit to a little We've old guy named to... Pacer and his stash, because we have to basically put some, uh, jet into his stash, because I guess he gets headaches or something like that. And I guess, long story short, we're probably going to make him overdose. Luckily, though, we already know exactly where he lives. And the last video was a massive failure because we didn't get to do what we wanted to do. Hold on. How do you go upstairs again? Oh, okay. This way. All right. And then I believe it's this way. And then I think the stairs are right here. And then he should be the first room right here, isn't it? Yep, alright, here it goes. Um, let's go ahead and uh, do a save really quick. Alright. Pacer's jet. Uh, spike jet with Psycho. You carefully add Psycho to Pacer's jet, guaranteeing an altogether different high the next time he uses it. Um... Do I just wait now? Is that is that what's going on? Uh, let's go ahead and wait for two hours. That should suffice, right? I'm not sure. I think the point is that this dude was supposed to overdose, but he's not even here. All right, let's just get out of here. Wait, who's this guy? Things are tense on the strip right now. The head of one of Mr. House's families was killed. He's literally to low, talking to a dog. Alright, let's uh, sleep for six hours. I think the issue is that he needs to come to his bedroom. And I think he only comes at nighttime. What's up? Maybe. So, alright, let's sleep for a few more hours. Yeah, this should be 9 p.m. So, he should be here in his bed. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh god, alright, we'll take this and this and I guess some ammo. Alright, well, Pacer's dead. There's that. So let's go ahead and go back to uh, Ambassador Crocker. If we could find our freaking way out of here, that is. Um, This way? There we go. Hey, isn't that the king's dog? Nope. You're hallucinating. No, it's not that way. Wait, who the hell is this guy? Oh, that's the king. I, I can't believe Pace is gone. He was always right here, you know? Always cracking me up with some story or another. Anyway, what did you want? Um, nothing. I feel bad for the king, man. His best friend's dead. Well, he's a problem. Hi. To be honest, he's a problem to his people anyways. He was always causing more issues than resolving them. It's all good though, man. We're in a good position now. And I think I'm a King's member too. He's literally dead, but I just realized he's like butt naked in his room dead after he overdosed. <laughs> oh well. Now we get to go talk to Mr. Crocker himself. Let's go. Alright, awesome. We should be, honestly, in a good situation. I think uh, Ambassador Crocker is going to be happy overall. Because his biggest 
issue was obviously Pacer. Pacer's gone now. And I'll, honestly, I think this is better ultimately for the Kings regardless, man. Because like I said earlier, he was a problem, man. I mean, he was the one that led the NCR and uh, Kings battle. You know what I mean? Like, he's the reason it all it was all there from the beginning. I think, at least. He's over there instigating problems. Alright. Look at all these wasted-ass freaking troops over here. Not too far off from reality. Oh. <laughs> Alright. It's the PM. Well, we're, I know where his bedroom is, so there's a, that's a good thing. I don't think he'll be... Yeah, okay. His marker is on this side, so he's definitely in his bedroom. There he is. What's up, Crocker? Ah, hello. I trust you have something to report concerning the Freeside situation? Oh, yeah, no doubt. I wanted to talk to you about that, actually. Yes? Do you have something to report? Uh, like I said, yes. I laced Pacer's uh, jet with Psycho, and uh, let's just say it didn't go very well for him. Good show. With the conditions there, no one will suspect anything other than bad drugs to be the culprit. You've done a great service for the NCR. Now, you're probably wondering about your reward. This has been something of a hot button topic, so I was able to secure this for you. What is it? Glad to be of service. Uh, keep me in mind for any future assignments, actually. I would, but I'm afraid the rest of the work in my queue pertains to matters I'll have to deal with personally. You do have another option, however. I've received a message from Colonel Moore up at Hoover Dam. She's been following your exploits and has requested that you meet with her. You're not officially in the employ of the NCR, so there's nothing forcing you to go. But I'd go see her sooner rather than later. The colonel is not someone you want to keep waiting. Ooh, I'm liked. Uh, enough news of your good works have been passed around that people like you. Good, I would hope so. All right, let's go ahead and get out of here and let's go for the Republic part two. Nice. Wait, when the hell did we do part one? Am I tripping? Oh God, we got to go way over there. Luckily we can just fast travel to Boulder City. Where we met up with, uh... What the hell was his name? That freaking gang member? I don't even remember. It was literally over there. Alright, how do I get over there, 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 though? I wanna say it's this way. Oh, you can see, um... Caesar's Legion's place over there. I should probably take out my gun just in case. Alright, honestly, I have no idea how to get to the Hoover Dam from here. Somehow, I don't think this is the way. Yeah, I don't think this is the way. So, let's go around in this direction. Maybe we could go around this gigantic rock. I'm literally guessing at this point. I really have no idea where I'm going. Wherever it is I'm going, it's literally the other side of this rock formation. So I just gotta figure out how to get there and... Alright, well there's a road right here and it does seem to go... Somewhat around? So there's that. I don't know. I'm I think I'm going the right way. This big mountain formation really is uh unfortunate, man, cuz it's kind of like impeding. Oh yeah, look, it goes in that direction. Nice. There's a little map marker undiscovered right in front of me too. I think that's uh one of the NCR checkpoints if I remember correctly. Um well, while we're here, we might as well Discover it, right? Yeah, Ranger. Payson? This is a very tiny freaking... Alright, it's Ranger Station Delta. Nice. Alright, well now that that's discovered, we should definitely head over here in this direction. So that we can go to Hoover Dam. And there he goes. Look, Hoover Dam. Look at how pretty that looks. Hoover Dam. 
Oh, oh, wrong button. My bad. My bad, my bad, my bad. I'm not trying to aim at you guys. Oh, look at there it is in all its glory. Alright, no problemo. We'll be there in no time. I really hate when you jump and you land. It does this awkward pause. Watch. Hold on. Okay, man, I guess it's not really doing it to the extent that I was hoping for, but it does do that still regardless. It's kind of weird. See what I mean? It does like this little awkward stop. Alright, so I guess I'm going in here. Hi, Ranger. Alright, how do I do this? Um, the elevator, apparently. There's some intense music over here. Look at all these guards, man. They're everywhere. Oh. Alright. Hoover Dam offices. Hello? Oh, this. That's a chick? Alrighty then. Hello, Cassandra Moore. Good, you made it. I've been receiving reports about the savior of the NCR for a while now and wanted to meet you myself. You've proven yourself especially capable. And right now, I can use all the capable people I can get. Crocker gets handed the fluff missions that no one else wants to do. When people need something really important done, they come to me. Usually, I dispatch one or more rangers to see these things through, but I'm a little short-handed at the moment. Think you're up for a real mission? Yeah, of course. Since the majority of my men are on assignment dealing with the Legion, I need someone to handle other matters that have arisen. Make no mistake, there's a battle coming. And I intend to make sure there are no loose ends when the time comes. One such loose end is a gang known as the Great Cons. Have you heard of them? Um, you could say we've had a little, uh, confrontation prior to this. But then I don't need to tell you that they can be a pain in the ass. The NCR has a rather sordid history with them, and I'm concerned that we'll find them aiding our enemies when the Legion attack comes. That is, unless we get to them first. I want you to visit them in their canyons to the far west and make sure they're in no shape to join the Legion. They're just another gang of raiders as far as I'm concerned, so deal with them appropriately. Any questions? Um... What if they're committed to joining Caesar's Legion? Then you'll need to make sure none of them are left to do so. Any other questions? Damn, alright. Um, will I have any NCR support for this mission? I can't lend you any troops, but I've already sent word to Quartermaster Barden that you're to be given full access to our hardware. You'll have to pay for what you take, however. We can't afford to give away equipment. Did you have any other questions? Crap. Uh, what if I convince them not to join Caesar's Legion? Don't fool yourself. I've dealt with enough of these gangs to know that they can't be trusted. Is there anything else? Yep, I guess not. I look forward to hearing of your progress. Dismissed. Will do, ma'am, lady, sir, dude. Boone looks mighty sexy in his NCR Ranger outfit. Alright, I think it's this way. Alright, yep, yeah, there we go. We're out of this place. I guess now we're going to... Um... Some random place. I'm trying to remember... How to get there I want to say it's this way and then go up north this way so I think the closest place is Sunset Sarsaparilla because if I go to that ranger station it's literally in the wrong direction so hold on where's my map I mean I guess if I follow this road maybe Yeah, because, uh, I think this is the way. I want to say this is the way. Let's look at the map one more time. Yeah, okay, yeah, I think we're going the right way. Let's just do a quick cut pass through here, and we should be fine. Oh, I remember this place. No, Boo, not yet. Alrighty. I guess we're doing this. 
Let's go! Where is this asshole for shooting my damn dog? Whoops. Nope. Sorry, Mr. Fiend. Oh, God. She's strong. Whoa. What the fuck? Cook Cook's dead. Alright. I want your money. I want your head. Flame or fuel. Metal armor in this game does look pretty good, though, man. I'm not gonna lie. What I could have done, too, is, uh, just shot Queenie. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, let's go ahead and, uh... You know what? While we're here, let's go ahead and... Kill all three of these ra uh, raiders. There's another one over here with a dog. I think her name is Violet. That we could have used to uh, give to Rex, Rexy boy over here. Perhaps I should get out of the radiation, huh? Oh god! Oh god! Let's go! Why are they exploding? Is that my weapons doing? I want to see if one of these is, uh, Violet. I think, uh, Rexy Boy took care of the job for me. Oh, Vi Violetta. That's who it was. I don't know why I took the brain, to be honest. Alright, well, I'm not gonna worry about this place. I'm just gonna take what I need from... Her. Violetta's head. And then there's one more guy with a golf club way over here somewhere I think it's this way yeah it's right there where all those guys are why why why, why was everybody exploding is that a mod that I have on my gun or something honestly I'm not sure it's pretty weird. Let's go. See what I mean? Let's go. Oh, shit. Oh, there, this is him. No, give me your freaking head, damn it. All right, fuck it. You're going legless. While we're here, let's take out, uh, his head. And I think he has, yep, a unique weapon. Let's go. Do they not explode in vats? Am I crippled? No, get back. I'm freaking crippled, aren't I? Alright, let's go ahead and take a stim pack. We should be good to go. There we go. And now we have all three heads. So whenever we decide to go over to... Uh, what is that place called with the NCR? It's like the NCR military headquarters. I'm not sure how I feel about walking in the middle of all this freaking stuff. I'm gonna get highly irradiated here soon. Alright, let's go ahead and go this way, though. I'm not sure if I'm going the right way, but I guess we'll find out here shortly, right? Do you see somebody? Oh, fuck. Die. The explosive power of this is pretty disgusting. In a good way. Alright, we're in a good situation here. We got powerful weapons. Oh, this has got to be it. 
Oh look, it's Caesar's Legion. Damn, this guy's... That guy was tanky. Alright, let's take his ammo. And his money. Because we can sell that stuff. That's it? That was the ambush? Just one uh, Caesar's Legion? Alright. Don't mind if I do then. Alright, it's definitely in this direction though. I remember that town. Although there's a guy over there, if I remember correctly, with a unique weapon. Oh, fuck. There's the rest of them. Oh, God. Was that... I fucking died. I'm gonna have to go through all of that again, aren't I? Oh, fuck. Alright, well, let's go. Let's be a little bit more careful this time. Alright, so it's there. Yeah, okay, we're gonna have to go... Damn it, we're gonna have to do this all over again. So this time... What we're not going to do is go around and kill the raiders. We'll get to that point whenever we get to that point. But for now... Are those raiders? Yeah, they are. For now, we're going to... Oh, God. Run! Rex and Boone, take care of those guys for me. I will just keep running. They'll never find me. Oh god, these raiders are following me too. Ow. Run! Alright. I have to. What? I have to only because Cook Cook is pretty important, man, so I gotta take him out. Alright, I gotta find his freaking body, though. Is this Cook Cook? That's not Cook Cook. Cook Cook has, uh, that metal armor. This is him. Oh, God. Let's blast his leg away. Hopefully, if we're lucky, he'll explode. I can't see! Let's go! Hell yeah, boy! Good job! Alright, let's go ahead and take Cook Cook's head while we're here. <laughs> See you later. Moo moo head. Alright. This time let's avoid fighting all of Violetta's people or whatever. Alright, let's go. Should we take a stim pack? I don't know. If we see a group of, uh,. Of, uh, whatever the hell they're called against Caesar's Legion. We'll definitely take care of that situation. Boone, stop getting into trouble, dude. Damn it. Oh, well. They can handle them, no problem. I'm not worried about it. Let's go. Oh, you know what it is, the explosion? I took a perk that explodes. I forgot what it's called though. I think it's called like Meltdown or something. And if that's the case, that's a pretty good freaking perk so far. Oh look, it's our best friend. Die! Dude, we destroyed his ass. Alright. I'll be taking that, thank you, and that. 
Alright, maybe we should save it right here just in case. Oops. I keep doing that. I don't want to have to use a stim pack if I don't have to. You know what I mean? Oh, look at these guys. Let's go! God, these guys are fucking tanky, dude. Oh, God. Let's take some headshots. Let's go! Don't die, please. As in me, don't die. Let's go! Holy fuck, dude. Oh! <laughs> Luckily, I saved it. Literally right here. That was like the best decision of my life. So we definitely do need some health. You know what I'm going to do too? To be honest, I'm going to switch to my plasma pistol. Oh wait. Also, I need to heal a little bit. My plasma pistol does a little bit more damage, I think. Oh my. DPS is a lot less though. Look at that, dude. Um. Hopefully, some of these hit him. Looks like just two of them. You're mine. Where is he? Damn, Boone. Good shit. All right, I'm not even gonna loot these guys. I do like the other weapon though better I do like this laser pistol it's super fast yeah if I remember correctly there's a dude over there in that little town it's a, it's nothing but raiders over there but in that little town there's a dude with a unique weapon I just can't remember what it is to be honest I think it might be like some some like knuckles or something I'm not sh I'm not quite sure to be honest This is definitely the entrance to uh, to where I'm going. To Red Rock Canyon. All right. Look at them. They're already walking around and everything. They're definitely gonna be all over the place. This place is honestly pretty freaking cool, dude. I just wish uh, the technology was a little bit more built up back then uh, in regards to like gaming engines and technology and stuff like that because imagine how this place would be if there was more huts and more people walking around and and this goes for everything like New Vegas and every uh, did I pass it I think so what am I doing over here anyways Morning. Hey, you look familiar. Still got a bit of a walk ahead of us. Talk fast. Yeah, um, you're an idiot. All right, what am I doing over here, anyways? I kind of just want to look around really fast. Hold on, let's talk to these guys. Great Con, Great Con. None of these guys have unique names, huh? I don't think any of these guys have unique names. Um, I don't see anybody over there. Let's try to go around this way. Nah, no, yeah, there's like nobody around here. Soon Caesar will send in his best troops from the Arizona campaign. They're li literally all just uh, great cons. All right, screw it. Let's go ahead and go back. Hiya! It's a pretty cool area, though, man. To be honest, what's in this box? All right, let me uh, switch views. Oh, it's empty. Morning. Good morning. At least they're polite. 
There goes Jessup's idiot ass over there. Try to get me killed earlier. Alright. Um. Whatever it is I'm looking for, it's up there. I want to say you can go up this direction. So I suppose we'll find out here very shortly. At least I'm assuming this is the way. I wish they were more like They're you. literally burning a Brahmin. Ooh, look, 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 look. It's an MP trooper helmet. I want that. Can I steal it? I'm detected, though. I probably have to wait for the nighttime. I'm definitely going to steal that shit, though. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to steal the hell out of it, dude. Um, I used to be an MP. I've said this before in some of my videos, but... Uh, yeah, I was an MP for the United States Army, and it was actually pretty cool, in my opinion. I loved it. Every moment of it. Sometimes I wish I was still in, to be honest. Alright. What's going on here? Look, there, it's lunchtime. They're literally all great cons. That's all they are. Oh, this guy's Regis. I haven't seen you before. What brings you to the great cons? Um... Who are you? Name's Regis. I'm Papa Khan's advisor and right-hand man. I'm also the chief enforcer of the tribe's laws. So watch your behavior. Uh, what's your opinion of the SCR, if you don't mind me asking? That's a complicated question. They've done horrible things to our people, to be sure. And I've gladly killed many of their soldiers in battle. But I can't bring myself to hate them the way Papa does. Things would damn sure be better for us if they were in charge than Caesar. So, if you were in charge of the tribe, you'd fight with the NCR against Caesar if asked? I suppose if asked, I would. But that's a moot point, because Papa's in charge now. He's not going anywhere. That's pretty interesting, actually. Tell me about Papa Khan. Papa is one of the best leaders the Khans have ever had. He's kept us together through all of our hardships, ever since we left California. Bitter Springs changed him, though. He started to really hate the NCR after the massacre. And sometimes, I worry that's poisoned his mind. Um... What did you mean about, uh... Papa's hatred poisoning his mind exactly? Nothing. Forget about it. I shouldn't be talking about this with an outsider. Damn it. Later. You know you're traveling with a fucking murderer? Shut your ass up. He's my friend, alright? Carl! Who the hell are you? I've been warned about you. You were perilously close to making an enemy of Caesar, and that is not wise. I am uh, already an enemy of Caesar, so fuck you. Who are you anyways? My name is Carl. Glorious Caesar has sent me as an emissary to the Great Khans as a token of our alliance. What alliance are you talking about? In exchange for Great Caesar's promise of all the lands west of New Vegas, the Khans have agreed to fight alongside the Legion when the time comes. What's your role in his Legion? I am one of the Frumentari. It is my duty to scout the waste in Caesar's name and make contact with any tribes that might serve a useful purpose. You might say I'm somewhere between a scout and an ambassador. I'm assigned here as part of the alliance between the Legion and the Great Khans. Kind of funny that you say that. I've killed a few Fumentaris before. So what does the Legion want with the Great Khans anyways? Though they have been cruelly oppressed by the NCR, the Khans remain great warriors. The Legion is honored to have such allies in battle. Alrighty then. Um, oh that one's locked. Says cut Hold on, what time is it? It's but still morning. I guess, I guess I guess we're done I'm surprised Papa Khan wasn't in there he should be in there right it's telling me to go in there is there somebody here I'm supposed to talk to exactly oh there he is so the cub enters the wolf's den 
What do you want, Cub? I've come to ask uh, about the Great Cons to break their uh, legions with Caesar's Legion. Have you now? Hmm. Well, you're a bold one, I'll give you that. But why should I do this for you? Um... Um, because Caesar's only using you. He doesn't actually really care about the great cons, man. Doesn't he? Caesar's representative tells a different tale. The glory of the great cons will be restored. And once the NCR is pushed back to California, all the land from here to the Colorado will be ours. I won't hear any more talk against Caesar or his alliance. The great cons will answer Caesar's call to war, and the NCR will pay for their crimes. Well, what can you tell me about your people? You want to hear the story of the Great Khans? It's a long one, full of honor, glory, and betrayal. We have suffered, but we will regain our glory. Uh... Yeah, maybe you can tell me the short version of it. In a hurry, are you? Very well, then. The Great Khans came east, out of the NCR, 14 years ago. We ruled the wastes then, and called no man master. But we underestimated the families of the Strip, and they drove us back to Bitter Springs, where we remained until the NCR arrived and drove us here. How did the three, uh, three families defeat you? They allied with Mr. House, the self-proclaimed master of New Vegas. He supported them with the resources of New Vegas. Weapons, technology, caps. They were better equipped, and we could not stand against them. So you said something about Bitter Springs? What happened there? Why aren't you there no more? When the NCR came to the Mojave, we thought they would be easy pickings. We raided their caravans, their towns, their camps. They couldn't stop us. At least that's what we thought. They tracked us to Bitter Springs and surrounded us. When our children, our sick and old, fled through a nearby pass, the NCR gunned them down. That doesn't sound like something the NCR would do though oh they claimed it was a miscommunication but tell that to those who saw our families butchered tell it to the survivors who were banished here damn um that's horrible it's because of that <laughs> that we have sworn to take revenge on the NCR with our new allies in Caesar's legion we will crush them all right. Who are you? You march all the way out to Red Rock Canyon, enter my home as bold as you please, and you have no idea who I am? <laughs> you got guts, I'll give you that. Well then, let me educate you. I am the chief of the great cons, the con of cons, if you like. This is my tribe, and these are my people. Okay. Well, later. Papa says cut off the head and the snake will die. I guess the chairman's days are numbered. Okay, um... I heard you try to convince Papa Khan not to join with Caesar's Legion. I'd like to talk to you about that for a moment. I tried to talk to you about it before, but you wouldn't listen to me. But anyways, um... What is it uh, that you had in mind? You want to convince Papa not to ally with Caesar, right? Trust yep. me, you'll get nowhere just talking to him about it. He's fixated on restoring the glory of the great cons, and he sees Caesar as the path to that restoration. So, what exactly do I do then? Papa can be a stubborn man, but he's not a tyrant. He listens to his tribe, and to four voices in particular. Me, Jack, Diane, and Melissa. If you can convince all of us that allying with Caesar is a bad idea, you might be able to sway him. But aren't you already convinced that we're having this conversation? I have my doubts about Caesar, yes. But I won't publicly go against Papa Khan based on nothing more than doubts. I've heard rumors that tribes who aligned with Caesar in the past were torn apart and reduced to slaves. Prove it, and I'll back you. What would uh, convince Jack and Diane to support me? You'd have to talk to them. But those two have been thick as thieves since they were kids. Convince one, and the other will come around. Okay, what about Melissa? 
Ah, Melissa. She's a bit of a dreamer. Last time she was in camp, Carl filled her head with stories of serving the Legion as a speculatore. Personally, I've never seen a woman in Legionnaire's armor, so I have my doubts. Yeah, your doubts are very well formulated, if I, if you ask me. Um, okay, I'll see what I can do to convince everybody. Good. Oh, one more thing. Caesar's representative, Carl, has become fast friends with Pava. Carl's the one who has him so fixated on this <clears throat> alliance. You'll probably have an easier time of things if you can find a way to get him out of the picture. How would I do that exactly? Carl talks prettily about the honor and nobility of the great cons, but I suspect his actual opinion is less flattering. Maybe you could find something he wrote that expresses that opinion, or trick him into losing his cool in the longhouse right in front of Papa. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. I would too, if I were you. Sounds good. Well, I think we're going to have to call it a video right here, right now, though. In the next video, we're definitely going to get into the nitty-gritty with the Great Cons, and hopefully, if all goes well, we can get idolized with the Great Cons. So we'll see and cross that hurdle once we get there. We're definitely going to be starting that in the next video, though. As for now, though, that's going to call it... Uh, I'm going to call it a video right here, right now. If you enjoyed this video, do me a huge, huge favor. Drop a like on this video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Because it really, really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.